Inagaki-san, did you finish editing the data I asked you to fix? Huh? I printed it out and left it on your desk. Ooh, uh, is it this? Thanks. Not a problem. You're very welcome. This. Did you edit the format along with the numbers? I thought it'd be easier to look at. Was it bad? Not at all. It's easy to understand. I'm glad. Oh, you can't do that, Kaneshiro-san. Chihiro already has a boyfriend. Uh, what are you saying all of a sudden? What's wrong? It sounded like you were flirting with Chihiro-san, so I came to warn you. It's not like that. Are you sure? Chihiro's super popular. Speaking of, let's be honest, who's better? Your high-spec boyfriend, Okanashiro-san? It's rude to compare people like that. Wow, such a model student behavior. That's probably how men get tricked, though. You should be careful too, Kanashiro-san. Thanks for the warning. I'm totally free if you want. I appreciate the offer, but I'm not having trouble in that aspect. Uh, I see. Can I get back to work now? Oh yes, excuse me. Just like that, my coworker quickly left the scene. That was a disaster. Not at all. Anyway, were you mad, Kaneshiro-san? You seemed super unfriendly. I mean, she was extremely rude to you, wasn't she, Inagaki-san? You're mad for me? I don't like people like that. Thank you. Don't worry about it. I was just mad. I feel better because of what you did. I see. All right! It's a no overtime day today. Let's hurry up and get this done so we can be free and leave. Do you have plans? Yeah. I'm going out for drinks with my friend from college, who I haven't seen in a while. Is that a girl? No, it's a guy. I don't have many connections with females. What are you saying? I bet you could pick and choose whoever you want. That's not true. Girls always turn me down. Even when you're handsome, went to a prestigious university, and on your way home to a promotion in a big company? I'm happy you say that about me, but every girl that I've liked doesn't fall for a guy over reasons like that. Oh, I see. <laughs> Which one are you, Inagaki-san? What do you mean? Do you choose people over statuses and ranks like that? Who knows? I wonder which. For some reason, she laughed like she was stuck. After work. Sorry, did I make you wait? Nope, you're right on time. Let's go then. Where should we go? The French restaurant in front of the train station. What? It's just us two. Why do we have to go somewhere fancy? Let's just go to the izakaya we always go to. It's not just us two. What? What did you say? Sorry, man. We're not the only ones drinking tonight. It's a matchmaking party. I'm going home. Oh, wait, wait! You're the only person who fits the categories they asked for! Handsome, single, and works for a big company? I'm begging you! Make me look good here, man! You know that I don't like being treated like that, right? I know. That's why it's just this one time. Please, I'm begging you! It'll be my treat tonight! That's not enough. You're paying the next time we go out for drinks, too. At the izakaya we always go to? That was always my plan. I'm sorry, I owe you one. But it's just this once, okay? I was surprised when I arrived at the matchmaking party. 
I didn't think I would meet her in a place like this. It seemed like she was thinking the same thing. She was even more surprised than I was. What are you doing here, Kanoshiro-san? Didn't you say you were drinking with friends from college today? That was the plan, but he just told me that the plan was to actually go to a matchmaking party. And like, I should be asking you the same thing. What are you doing here, Inagaki-san? Look at you, Hikaru. You were complaining so much and didn't want to come, but you're already talking to a cutie. Hmm. Girls like her are your type? I've known you for a while, but I didn't know. It's not like that. Come on, man, that's rude! Oh, right. I meant that this isn't about whether she's my type or not. She's my co-worker. Seriously? That's why I was just surprised. Oh, I see. Maybe she was tricked like I was and forced to come here. That's a very misleading way to phrase things. But it's the truth. It is, but... So, which is it? I didn't hear anything like that from her. Hmm... Is there a problem? I mean, she... Stop! Uh, um, Kanishiro-san, do you have a moment? What's wrong? Come on, over here. Please come this way. We moved to the corner of the restaurant, just us two, and... But what's wrong? What's wrong? What were you about to say to him? I mean, just that you have a boyfriend. You can't say that! This is a matchmaking party, you know? I know that, but what? Are you looking for a boyfriend, Inagaki-san? Yeah. Why? I knew you'd react that way. Okay, I'll explain it properly. My co-worker, Chihiro Inagaki, has a boyfriend who's handsome, tall, educated, highly paid, and super athletic. That was well-known gossip at work. The male employees who had their eyes on her were heartbroken because of that and took leave with a broken heart. The fact that our workplace was a struggle because of that is no laughing story. It's the truth. I also took a punch that day. So why is she saying that she wants a boyfriend? What's going on? Did you break up with your boyfriend or something? It's not that. What? You're here to look for guys when you have a boyfriend? That's not true either. I didn't actually have a boyfriend. I've actually never had one in my entire life. What does that mean? It's a misunderstanding. Um, you know about Minagawa-san from the General Affairs, right? Oh yeah, yeah. He um, tried getting with me once. But I'm not a big fan of a pushy man, so I tried to turn him down. He didn't even give up after that, so my friend started a rumor that I had a boyfriend. And then... And that rumor spread around? Embarrassingly, yes. Why is your boyfriend so overly exaggerated? People were saying I was probably with a guy who was better than Minagawa-san, so it got more exaggerated as the rumors spread around. But that... Isn't there a possibility that Minagawa-san jumped on the opportunity to spread that rumor to protect his pride? Well, to tell you the truth... I knew it. I wouldn't put it past him to do that. Um, but it's also my fault. There were fewer men confessing their feelings to me because of that, so I thought I got lucky and didn't deny the rumors. I see. Oh, one more question. What is it? Why are you trying to find a boyfriend now? The truth is, the female workers are trying to find out who my boyfriend is. Can't you tell them the truth if they're girls? 
It's the opposite. What does that mean? It's scarier with girls when it comes to things like this. They always laugh and say, this girl's boyfriend is handsome, but they're filled with jealousy on the inside. That's just how girls are. If they find out that I never had a high-spec boyfriend and was acting high and mighty all this time, I don't know what they'd say about me. That's why I asked my friends so quickly to find a guy who fit the role, and... Huh? Is that why I was brought here? Seems like it. I'm so sorry. I mean, you don't have to apologize, but... But I think I just got over it. What does that mean? God is probably telling me to be honest and apologize to everyone. Are you okay with that? I'm not sure. Everyone might cut me off. But I can't help it. I have to pay for my mistakes. Please don't worry about me, Kaneshiro-san. Enjoy the dinner. The food and drinks here are all delicious. I see. Maybe I'll eat a lot then. I'm pretty hungry. Me too. I'm suddenly hungry now that I'm not nervous anymore. Oh, but since it's a matchmaking party, I should probably do at least one thing to make it seem that way. What is it? What's your type in men? Let's see. I don't really care about appearances. Money too. We could both work and make what we need to survive. So probably someone who's just easy to talk to. What about me? You pass, barely. Barely, huh? I'm kidding. I mean, you must be easy to talk to since I could joke around like this. After that, we enjoyed our meal normally, like she had asked me to. The food and drinks went down quickly as we conversed, and it ended up being a fun night. Thanks for last night. Thank you as well. It was fun. It was. But I didn't think those two would start dating. Seriously? He's a good guy, so please support him. My friend is a good girl too. Please tell your friends to treat her well too. Of course. What are you two talking about? Oh, uh, it's nothing. What? Why are you hiding it? That's very sketchy. And like, you should talk to me too. I see. Then let's have a serious conversation, shall we? What? Seriously? Yay, what is it? Are you going to ask me out on a date? About the documents you created. The papers you prepared are hard to read. Um, I wasn't hoping for a turnout like this. Don't be shy. Let's talk as much as we can for the future, right? Oh, I just remembered... The supervisor was calling me. Could you excuse me? Go ahead. I'll excuse myself then. Goodness, I can't believe she told such an obvious lie. Good for you, though. Huh? What is? This is your opportunity with a woman that you've been waiting for all this time. Damn, so much sarcasm. I didn't know you were like that. You already know about my secrets, so I thought I'd just be true myself. Isn't it the other way around? Shouldn't you be buttering up to me so that I won't spill your secret? I'm sure bad behavior like that would put you in a bad mood. You got me. Also, it's because you're actually easy to talk to, Kaneshiro-san. Listen. What is it? If there's something I can help you with, talk to me. I'll do what I can to support you. For free? One free lunch. It's a good deal. <laughs> can I ask you a favor right now, then? What is it? Please take over me for the presentation to the supervisor. Absolutely not. Why not? I'll treat you to free lunch. That's barely an equal exchange. That's true, but thank you. I told you I'm not going to do it. 
not that. I'm happy that you offered to help me, so thank you. I see. In that case, I'll accept your thanks. You're very welcome. A little while after that. Hey, Hikaru. I heard that you and Inagaki-san have been close recently. There are rumors. It's normal to talk to your co-workers, isn't it? Wait, rumors? Why? You should be more aware of how the female employees have their eyes on you. I see. I think I understand Inagaki's feelings now. This really is annoying. If it means that people will leave me alone, I guess I'll leave a rumor or two unresolved. Huh? What did you say? Nope, it's nothing. Anyway, that's why I'm here to warn you. Warn me about what? You know, don't be too flirty with a girl who has a boyfriend. That's what leads to jealousy and bullying, you know. Are things... bad? Are you finally realizing? Inagaki-san might be in a bad situation too. Apparently, she's been batting her eyelashes at you even though she has a boyfriend. Seriously? The women have been rowdy recently. There might be a storm coming. My co-worker's prediction soon became a reality. Listen, Chihiro-san, what's up with you recently? Seriously, seriously, you've been turning down a bunch of guys because you have a boyfriend, but you're super close to Kaneshiro-san. Aren't you being a bit cocky? Um, about that. And like, do you actually have a boyfriend? It'd be so lame if you're trying to act cool. Come on, you're going too far. But if it was all just a rumor, your mentality must be made of steel. I wouldn't be able to survive. That's just so embarrassing. <laughs> That's true. Oh, right. That's what this is about. These girls know that the rumors are fake. They were watching cautiously so that they could rip me up one day. I'm so stupid, I can't believe I didn't notice. Oh, you're here! I was looking for you! Huh? What are you doing in here? Oh, Kanoshiyo san! Did you know? This girl's boyfriend is. Oh, did people finally find out? Huh? My co worker also warned me. We've been too lovey dovey at work, so people might find out soon. Um, what do you. Huh? That I'm Chihiro's boyfriend. Um, Kadashiro-san, what are you... It's fine. Everyone knows already, so you can call me Hikaru like you always do. The truth is, I was the one who asked Chihiro to keep it a secret. She's super popular, so it'd be a hassle if people found out, you know? But then people started spreading rumors that her boyfriend was handsome and whatnot, so we had a hard time bringing it up. Uh oh that's what it was? Yep. So can you ladies please continue to keep it a secret? Uh, I understand. Thanks. Come on. Let's go, Chihiro. To, to where? We promised to plan our date this weekend over some food after this, right? We have to hurry, or we won't make it to the reservation. Oh, can I take Chihiro now? Go ahead. Thanks. Just like that, I grabbed Inagaki-san's hand and left the scene. The two of us walked for a while and... Um, Kaneshiro-san? What's up? Thank you so much, but... Sure. Why did you save me? Because that was just outright bullying, wasn't it? I've always hated things like that. I see. Also... I'm at fault for talking to you all the time. I'm sorry. No, it's nothing you have to apologize for, Kanashira-san. 
By the way, what are you planning to do after this? What do you mean? Those girls are definitely going to spread rumors. Even when I asked them not to? There's no way that they're going to keep it secret. That makes sense. In that case, should we actually start dating? What? If it's a lie, we should just make it the truth. Everything will be resolved that way. That's true, but isn't that too much? If you don't want to, we can think of another plan. I never said that I didn't want to, but... It's decided then. But I never knew. Huh? Knew what? That you're such a good Samaritan. I had a change of heart. I didn't have any connection to females my entire life, you know. I wanted to treasure the one special connection I made. That's a good mindset. Right? I also have fun talking to you, Inagaki-san. Anyway, what do you say we have dinner together after this? Of course, Hikaru-san. My name? I can call you that, right? Yeah, of course. If that's what you want to call me, Chihiro. I want to. A few days later, the rumors that we were dating spread around like wildfire, as we had expected. But Chihiro wasn't afraid of those rumors. After all, we were properly dating now. There was only truth in those rumors this time around. <laughs>